You know that game, Would You Rather? Would you rather have two foam arms or be constantly followed everywhere by 10 ducklings? My feelings about privacy and personal data on my smartphone kind of remind me of this game. Would I rather give up my smartphone or agree to carry around a bunch of little spies in my pocket? This is my Android. I've downloaded 57 apps. Facebook, WhatsApp, The Guardian, Fitbit, Twitter, Spotify. When I download an app, I have to accept the terms of service, but I rarely read them. To find out which apps are tracking me, I installed another app. It warns me if data is shared without my knowledge. According to that app, 30 of the 57 applications I've downloaded access data that concerns my private life. For example, social networks access my contacts to suggest new friends. Without this data, the application wouldn't really work. Sometimes it's really surprising. As far as I know, my flashlight doesn't need my personal data to function, but it does access my UDID. That stands for Unique Device Identifier, which every phone is given when it's manufactured. This UDID, like you, is unique in the world. My flashlight transmits it to advertisers, and they use it like a browser cookie. Tracking my UDID lets them learn my mobile habits and send me targeted advertisements. Right now, I'm at a cafe where I live. That fact is shared with huge advertising companies that collect millions of smartphone user profiles. We asked Harlow Holmes to explain how the apps go about collecting our data. The way that apps work, are, and of course Android and iOS and Windows phones and Blackberries, they all have slightly different ways of doing it, but ultimately <clears throat> they're what are called permissions. And these permissions, uh, if you grant them, allow a specific app access to what's called an API. It's kind of like a door. You want to open the door to the contacts, you ask the API and it gives you what you need. Angry Birds was one such uh, app that in addition to you know, asking for access to the stuff that we'd expect, such as the gyroscope, um, in order for you to play the game, uh, they also asked for access to your contacts. And by giving them that, your allowing them to go into your phone and to make use in whatever way the, that they deem fit of the people that you know and how they can be contacted. That same thing that we're afraid of, of uh, political actors making use of our contacts just to understand exactly who's connected to whom and how and when and possibly why is also used by advertisers in order to sell us more products, in order to determine who among your friends has the most influence, that kind of a thing. It's a matter of who's asking the question and why are they asking this question. And then there's the data which is collected based on my whereabouts. In the next video, we'll learn why my geolocation is a goldmine of data. This is me, at work, at home, at the dentist, on vacation, at the park. In my history, I can find all of the places I've been in the last few days. 